Hello and welcome back to Crazy Joe Studio. Today we will look at the most common error not found in media index. We'll see what the reason for this error is and also figure out how we can fix this. <laughs> This error can be common enough, but you would not see it in your day-to-day -day operational experience. But this is more common when you may be creating a device or maybe in a DR scenario, wherever you are trying to mount device or volumes on your data domain devices. Now let's see what exactly is the reason for this kind of a behavior. Here we'll be working with a couple of data domain devices that you have, uh, that you see on your screen. I will go ahead and try to mount each one of them and let's see what and how these behave. So let's start with this one right here. I'm going to right click and say mount. And then we have this mounted, no issues found. We'll try a mount on this as well. Wow, okay. We have an error here and if you look at the error it says that it's found a label on your device but that label is not found in the media database when I say label it is your volume name now let's leave it there and let's try to mount another one no issues there all good and the last one is gonna be this let's go ahead and try to mount this as well so this is a different kind of error, but you will see that this is unable to mount either. So let's see what the issue is. Now, the error that we saw earlier, which is this one, clearly states that the networker is able to see that there is a label on the tape, but or all the device, but there is no entry for that particular uh, device in the media database so the plain reason for this error to occur is that the device that you're trying to mount does have valid label on it meaning it has been labeled by some networker server but the problem here is that the networker server that you have currently configured it on does not have any information related to the volume that is within that particular device so now what is the fix or what is the best way to see if what are the contents of that particular device or volume? The answer to this question is scanner. So scanner is one of the great tools that or commands that we have in networker that helps you read the contents of a particular device. The device or the volume could be a data domain device, it could be an advanced file type device, it could be cloud boost it could be a tape doesn't matter everything is covered under the scanner now let's go ahead and try to run scanner on the device that we have in question which is this one right here let's go ahead and copy the device name the easiest way to do it is via the properties then i'll switch over to our SSH connection to the network is server and let's clear the screen here and the command is simple enough which is scanner and here you have two options so there is a minus M switch which just generates the media database uh, information and then we have the minus I switch which generates the catalog information as well it's easy enough to just go into the man pages and look at this here you have the scanner command with the minus i and the m and if you scroll down and look at the details you will see that minus i, uh, I builds both the media and the online file indexes from the volume that it reads and the minus m rebuilds the media indexes for the volume that it reads now depending on what you want to do or what information you are looking for it's easier for you to run the minus m first because the minus m is much much faster as compared to the minus i 
because minus i has to build the index entries as well which means that it has to read every block of data in your device so that it can grab the information of the file within that particular volume and saves it as well but if whenever you are using minus m it is mainly bothered only about the save set information which is your ssid and whatever information is relevant to your save set which is found in the save set header and that information is in turn updated to you your media database and then you can go ahead and check your media database by using the mm info command uh, to see what are the contents of that particular volume so let's go ahead and uh, run the minus m first which means that we want to get the information faster and all you need to do is paste the name or put in the name of the device and then we just hit enter and you will see that now it is running a scan and these are all the devices or these are all the save sets that it has discovered in uh, the volume in question and the volume name that it has discovered is the one that you are I'm highlighting right now so to understand more or to again figure out what exactly this particular volume contains use your mm info command and don't forget the switch and then to check the contents of the volume just paste the name of the volume there and there you see it it contains the information or backup from your network server itself this is simply because I deleted the volume for this demo and uh, these are the contents of the said device uh, if you look at the flags here it will show you as CB this is simply because I had deleted it and the indexes are still there uh, but if in case you are looking at a device which is not from your network server and you have just run a scanner then there are two things that you might see missing one is a reference to a correct client this is simply because that client might not have been created with the relevant client id on your network server so when you do a scan you get the host name which is the client name and also the client id for the relevant save set using which you can create the new client on your network server and then go ahead and um, you know do recoveries if in case that is what you need the other volume that we had with the issue is this one here so what we'll do is we'll also run a scanner against this and see what are the contents that, that this particular file has and or this particular volume has so let's do the, uh, so the same method again scanner minus m and then we are going to put in name of the volume and here you will see that it's not able to actually open the connection this mainly is because this particular volume is not labeled so let me go ahead and label this now and then we should be able to mount it so it'll ask I'm just gonna uncheck this for now and now that is it's labeled we can go ahead and mount it word of caution don't try to label an unknown device directly always make sure that that particular device does not contain any backup information and this can be done using the scanner command thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video I hope you found this useful if you have any questions or comments share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account I will see you on another video. Goodbye.